so hot outside. Yeah. I know. <gasps> I have an idea. What is it? Let's walk down to the store and get some ice cream. Yes! Let's do it! Hey man, remember when we were younger and we used to always finish each other's sentences? Yeah, those were the good old days. Why do you ask? Well... I'm wondering if we could do that again. Give me a worksheet so I can copy it. But I'm still, um, I'm, I'm still working on the last question. Does it look like I care? The bell's about to ring soon and I haven't done anything. So give me a worksheet or else we get a knuckle sandwich. Please, I, re I really need to finish it before the end of class or my parents will be upset. You asked for it. <laughs> hey! Luke, no chewing gum in class. Can I buy something from the toy store? No, I have an appointment in 15 minutes and I need to pick some things up from a different store. Please? Fine, you know what? Here's $10 to buy a toy and I want you to meet me back right here in 10 minutes, okay? Okay, thank you so much. $9.99? Perfect. Is this everything for you today? Yep. Okay, so with tax, the total comes to 1065. Do you know how to do question 11? No, I'm not on that question yet. You'll have to ask the teacher. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Mom? The receipt's in the bag. Thank you. You too. Hey man, how's it going? All right, so this is gonna be your workspace right here. Um, is that the fire alarm? Yes, it is. We better get out of here. Oh, and you know the drill, right? Yeah, hi, it's nice to see you again. Yeah, same to you. <sighs> That's so much homework this is gonna take all night. And I can't see anything. Okay, question number one. And of course, the pen doesn't work. <laughs> oh my goodness. He needs to learn to turn off the lights. Luke, give me your phone. But I already finished the test. Oh yeah? Let me see then. Yeah. You definitely failed. Why are you always so mean to me? Let me tell you something. You will never make it in life. Oh my gosh, sir, you're my favorite actor right now. Do you mind if I get a-
I'm watching. <laughs> hey, don't do that. You're going to hurt yourself. I'm fine, Mom. I've done this thousands of times. Perfect. Let's see how they turned out. What the heck? Sit down! I can stand. I told you to sit down! Please, miss. I was supposed to get off three stops ago. This boy lived in a bubble for 18 years. Jimmy Livingston was born with no immunity, so he had to be kept isolated. His parents made him a plastic bubble that he couldn't get out of, and they could only touch him with gloves. When he was 16, he was attracted to his neighbor Chloe, who he could see through his window. When his overprotected mom found out about this, she warned him that if he touched her, he would die. As the years went on, Jimmy and Chloe became friends. Until one day, Chloe gave him news that left him really sad. She would be leaving soon to marry her fiance at Niagara Falls. Since Jimmy was in love with her, he decided to make a suit, so he could go outside and interrupt the wedding. A few Two days later he arrived just in time to interrupt the wedding. Then he confessed his love for Chloe and got out of the suit and kissed her. His mother arrived just in time to see him and told everybody the truth. Jimmy was perfectly fine. She was just holding him captive to keep him away from the rest of the world. In the end, Jimmy forgives his mother and ends up marrying Chloe. If you see an Apple AirTag that isn't yours, call the police immediately. If you don't know what it is, it's a small tracker made by Apple that's meant to be put on keys, wallets, backpacks, or whatever you don't want to lose. So if you do lose them, your phone will tell you where it is. But one man put an AirTag in a girl's jacket without her knowing. She said she took off her jacket at a restaurant and that's when it happened. It tracked her go from one restaurant to another and even while she was walking home alone. Luckily, Apple has a safety feature that notifies you if an AirTag that isn't yours is tracking you. So she was able to find it and throw it away, but that that isn't always the case. This lady was followed from the mall to her house. And again, she got a notification that told her that, but she couldn't find it. She figured it had to be somewhere on her car, so she brought it to a shop and mechanics looked it over. But they said that they couldn't find it, so be safe. Here's how they caught Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy was an American serial killer. He used his ability to talk in a polite manner to pass off as a quiet guy. Although the police had witnesses saying they seen a man with his characteristics in the same places where a woman had gone missing, they didn't find a killer. But then a sketch of Ted Bundy was released and after this, the police received tons of calls saying they identified the killer. And finally in 1975, the police arrested Ted for a traffic violation. He raised the police's suspicion when he wanted to leave, but they stopped them and when when they checked his car, they found questionable objects like crowbars, ski masks with holes for the eyes, handcuffs, and a lot more. He was then arrested a year later for an attempted kidnapping and sentenced to 15 years in prison. And months later, he was charged with the murder of Karen Campbell. In prison, he wasn't tied up, so he jumped out of the window of a library and escaped. He was captured a week later, but within months, he escaped again. He committed more murders both times he escaped, including a 12-year-old girl named Kimberly Leach. In 1979, he went on trial for the murders he committed at a sorority house. He was convicted and sentenced to death in the electric chair. After a bunch of appeals, he was electrocuted in 1989 and pronounced dead. But before his execution, he confessed to a bunch of murders. And it's believed that he may have committed over 50. Here's everything that happened at Travis Scott's concert. There's around 50,000 people packed into the sold out show. When thousands of them started rushing to the stage, crushing people who had nowhere to escape, causing people to pass out because they couldn't breathe. There's footage of people from the crowd climbing the camera towers and asking for help because Travis had no clue what was happening. He did eventually see someone passed out, so he paused the show to ask security to help the person. Then as you can see from this video, continued performing. Security, somebody help jump in real quick keep going just keep this way 
In this footage, you can see an ambulance in the crowd, and then two men talking to Travis, but then they leave and he continues the show. There is a total of 25 people who were transported to the hospital, and eight of them passed away. This cop went undercover in a wheelchair to catch thieves. In Vancouver, Canada, the rate of street crimes were rising. Thieves would target people in wheelchairs because it's easier for them to escape. And unfortunately, sometimes they wouldn't just steal from them, but also hurt them. So Sergeant Mark Hosley decided to run an undercover operation. The year before this operation, 28 people in wheelchairs were robbed, and seven of them were physically attacked. The sergeant grew a beard and changed his overall appearance. He also sat in a wheelchair with expensive items to attract the thieves, then went downtown Vancouver to see if someone would rob him so he could arrest them. The operation lasted for 20 days, and in that time he had many people give him food and money, even people who the police had suspected to be robbers before warned him to keep his expensive items away. In the end, even though they didn't catch anyone, they said it was a success, because the story went viral and now thieves are scared that they might rob an undercover cop.